y'all so welcome back to another vlogmas um i'm getting ready for another date um google what time is it hey google what time is it 10 on 1 i feel like google deaf as fuck um, as y'all can see, only one of my eyelashes has, uh, one of my eyes has eyelashes, so I gotta redo that. I need to leave here in 30 minutes to be at the movies. So we're going to the movies to see Avatar. And I'm so grateful because he's already seen it. And I don't like seeing movies twice. To me, seeing a movie twice is equivalent to someone being like, I told you so. And that's annoying, like nobody likes that person. So I don't see movies twice because he had asked me if I already seen um, Wakanda Forever and I was like, yeah. And even though that was a good movie, I wouldn't see it twice because I already know what's going to happen. Like there's just, it's no enjoyment to me seeing movies more than once. Unless it's been like a really, really long time since I've seen the movie, I probably won't watch it twice. So um, we're going to see Avatar because I haven't seen it, but he's seen it. But I guess he don't mind seeing stuff twice. Um, which is super sweet. He's super nice for that. Um, but yeah, like the movie started at 11. I'm like, dang. And he was like, do you want to get breakfast? And I was like, yeah, at first, but then I went back to sleep. Cause y'all know I'll be waking up at like three, four, five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, Cause I'll be watching TikToks. I went back to sleep and then I went back up at eight. I was like, yo, like, let's just get food like afterwards or something. Because I don't, where's my mirror? I didn't feel like um, I'm getting up that early, but he's super sweet. This is the same guy I went to the um, winery place with, the wine bar. So, so far, so good. I'm so tired of, oh, I hope I didn't get that on my eyeball because it's low-key burning like I did. I am, oh, I did, fuck. I'm about to go blind. Oh, man. Are we good? Okay. I think I got it all off. Um, now I'm about to go blind. Uh, anyways, like I was saying. So, yeah. So, we're going to see Avatar. And I got on, like, this two-piece gem set that I've had literally for years um and then I'm just gonna put a flannel over it I've been forcing myself to wear crop tops knowing that I don't have the body for it in hopes that it will motivate me to go to the gym so far it hasn't been working um I'm still pulling niggas so until I find that one that's just like, hey, you should probably go to the gym. I'm going to keep doing it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, fun fact, he works out. And he, like, he's very ripped. So hopefully he doesn't get turned off. Oh, fuck. My lash. Where did it... I'm just going to get another one. Hopefully he doesn't get turned off by my fupa. But y'all, like, it is so hard. Like, once you hit, like, 25, it is so hard to get rid of that extra weight. And I don't know where it came from. I mean, I guess it came from all the pizza I be eating. But still, like, why is it so hard for me to lose weight? Like, I don't understand. But anyway, so that's kind of, like, where I'm at with that. I um, think I'm going to wear a beanie, too. The other night, I had wore a wig. But I still got this bob. And so I'm going to put a beanie over my hair. I don't know. I just want to give a nice, chill look. I told him, I was like, now that you've seen me dressed up, like, you're about to get, like, a not a whole new bitch, but... You know, a more casual me because honestly, like, I just like casual fits. You know? Oh, I didn't drink my chlorophyll water today. I need to do that too. 
Okay, so now I have lashes on both eyes. Super cute, super natural. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair. First off, let's see what this hair looks like because I can't believe this quick weave is holding on like it is. Period. Her. Um. Let's see. I really don't need the bonnet. Not the bonnet. I meant the beanie. I think I just want to wear a beanie. I'm going to do my edges in a sec. What, where is my edge control? I don't know where anything is. I've been using Gorilla Snot. But I don't... Gorilla Snot will really break off your edges. I mean, not mine. But, like, I knew this girl in college. And they broke off her edges, like, really bad. My edges grow back, though. Like, even if, like... That's one thing, like my hair break off, but it's gonna grow back. So I don't really, they're not sponsoring this video. I'm gonna move that out the video. But I don't know. I need to just invest in a good edge control, honestly, truly. Cause like, just because your hair is relaxed doesn't mean you don't need edge control. But um, yeah, I guess that's just how we're gonna do it today. That's cute, right? Cool. Don't forget the hoops. Love a good gold hoop. I know that ain't my leave out sticking up like this. And this is why I'm wearing the beanie. And I think this is the beanie I want to wear. Let's see if it's even cute. Is that even... Is that cute? Yeah, that's cute. I like it. And then this is the flannel. It low-key match, but it kind of don't match. It's the flannel I'm going to wear. With my bob and my beanie. Hey, Google. What is the degrees outside? It's 45 degrees outside. So, yeah. Um, this is what I'm going to wear. I'm going to come back to my makeup. All right, so this is my outfit. So, like I was telling y'all, it's like a two-piece jogger set. And then this flannel, this beanie, this purse. And then I don't really like my shoes. I don't think they really match, but I honestly just don't care at this point. I'm already running late. <laughs> so... Let's go to the movie. Hello. Hey y'all, so this is gonna be a very, very transparent like um rant. Um so earlier you guys saw I went on a date and went to go see Avatar and it was cool. Um and he's a good guy. However, I don't know if I'm I might be the problem. I don't think I'm the problem, but I'll take accountability just because I know that he's not a bad person. I feel like whenever you, I don't want to say settle, but I feel like that's probably what it is. When you settle for someone that's not your type, like, I don't want to say God, like the universe, but you will see signs that show every reason why like like god will show you why that person isn't for you because you knew that's not what you originally wanted and like i think i'm about to start my cycle soon so i've been very very emotional today and like to the point where i just shut down and i got overwhelmed and like you know if people have icks i've told y'all my icks but like I was literally triggered so many times today and it was like the smallest things like he he never did anything to disrespect me or you know it was nothing crazy but it was just little like things here and there little comments like it triggered the 
fuck out of me. And so I feel bad because, you know, I'm home now. And I came and I just started crying. And um, my lashes are off. I know y'all get tired of me doing my lashes every day. Like, I have no more lashes because I literally had to pull them off because it was just like, I was unbearable. Like, I just kept crying. And I really think it's because my period about to come. But I said that to say, y'all, do not settle. Because I feel like, for me, it hurts more, like, getting super excited about meeting somebody new. And, oh, like, finally met somebody. And he can, I've been on great, amazing dates and just have not been compatible with the person. And I feel like that hurts my feelings because I'm just like, well, are my standards too high? Am I, you know? But then I saw a tweet today, and it was basically saying, like, make sure when you pick your person or your partner that you're at least attracted to them. Because whenever they do things you don't like, it's easier to, um, why is there a hair on my water? That was weird. They said it's easier to, I guess, look at them when you're mad or forgive them or something. I don't know. Something like that. But honestly, like, yeah, like, y'all just don't settle. If you want someone that's six feet that um, makes this type of money that treats you this way, that's a provider, that wants to pay for everything, that literally, like, if you want that manly man, then just wait on it. I, I, I think about everything else that has happened in my life and that I prayed for and God has given me. So I don't know why I don't have faith that he'll bring me my person. And I think because I turned 30 next year, I put like myself on like this time frame that I have to have this miss by 30. And it's like, it's just not going to happen. Like, if I don't let go and let God and like God literally I felt God like literally like scream at me like girl have faith like have faith in me stop trying to find your person on dating apps stop trying to find your person at Walmart or Target hell even church like stop looking and let yeah I got like 50 million pillows stop looking and let him find you and like I look crazy right now but I don't even care because I feel like the more and more I date the closer I'm getting to my person because I think like the last three dates y'all have seen me be on and all three of those guys had characteristics to where I literally would think oh he might be the one Oh, he might be the one. He might be the one. And then he'll do something that'll like trigger me or something I didn't like. But if I can literally put all three of those people together, I think that I would have my perfect person. So in a way, I'm kind of excited. Like, I feel like my person is on the way. Um, and like I said, this isn't to bash the guy I went out with today. I just, it is, I don't, like, I really think it's my cycle and I'm just super emotional um but in a way it just kind of made me be like like I'm like if you wasn't my type like I feel like I deal with uh that sounds really bad oh fuck it I'm gonna say it I feel like if that person was my type I would probably tolerate more but because he's not my type I don't care I'm gonna leave like you know and I hate to say that it sounds really really bad hopefully it doesn't but hopefully I get what I'm saying like I just don't want to settle you know I, I people don't settle for me I've been cut off and ghosted for less so it's like I feel like we need to take notes from men like men will like stop talking to you because you talk back like it's it's just I'm just learning to set these boundaries and really figure out what it is I want and I think because I crave intimacy in a relationship so much that I've been settling a lot and like all the last guys that I've dated I settled it and the more or the longer you entertain what's not for you the longer it'll take to get what's meant for you and that's what I learned today also um when I saw Avatar um 
the movie tell me not to have kids because kids are inconvenience. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go watch Avatar. Um, I gave it like a 7 out of 10. It was cool. If you like stuff like that. I like 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 movies about people with powers and shit. I don't know. I think I'm low-key got powers or like psychic or something. So maybe that's why. I have a very strong intuition. So yeah, I'm going to close out this vlog. Um, with that, just don't settle, you guys. Are you going to be in the bed crying like me? Because now I got to figure out if I'm going to tell him I don't want to date him no more or if I'm going to ghost him. He's a good guy. I think he'll understand. But, um, I also think I'm just on my cycle. And I can feel completely better tomorrow about the situation. But right now, I don't want to talk to nobody. Unless you're, like, the person I really want. So, yeah. I feel ugly, so I'm going to end this vlog. I'll, I may see y'all tomorrow. I don't know. I'm looking kind of burnt out on Vlogmas, too. But I'm going to try to finish strong when I got five more days. So, I'll see y'all later.